when we start realizing the power of our minds and what we can really do with it, that's when the really beauty happens. When we start realizing how to refocus our brain on the things we want in life, our aspirations and dreams, instead of the things we don't want. When we stop fearing the world, when we stop fearing what other people think, what uh, other people are doing, and worrying about how other people look at us and us analyzing other people, that's when we're able to get back into our subconscious uh, mind and the, the, uh, the mastery of our mind being able to, instead of have a predictable future of doing the same thing day after day, being able to have a vision for our futures, to be more happy, successful, prosperity. A lot of us sit around, I used to say a lot of times, feeling depressed and sad for ourselves, and we're stuck in past emotions from past experiences that hold us back in life. What holds us back in life is worrying about what other people think, worrying about failure, worrying about all the you know negatives, uh, the pro quos in life. Uh, when you realize that our thoughts, what we spend our time thinking about, is going to be the outcome of our life, that's when really it's pretty incredible and powerful to be able to start refocusing and reprogramming our brains instead of being on autopilot from past experiences and emotions. The unknown in life is uncomfortable, is uncomfortable to step in and try, but it's powerful once you do so. It's just little ways of training the brain to changing up routines, changing up old thinking patterns, Old thinking patterns are not so easy to get rid of, but when you start practicing manifesting mindfulness, happiness, and getting beyond that thought and getting beyond the sad thoughts of the past, it's very powerful. When you're able to start adapting to any situation with, with your conscious mind because you're more present in the moment when it comes to sales, when it comes to anything you do in life, your passions, your dreams, and, and happiness that's when you really feel the real beauty and happiness and desire for life when you're able to start becoming more subconscious and present in the moment is when you really start to get the love for life in your heart and the desire to accomplish your dreams our minds we can program to whatever we want to program to whatever we want to think it starts with putting our desires our hopes and dreams on paper and having gratitude also. But it's very important to always have our passions and dreams on paper, to have a schedule for, for ourselves, for the dreams we have in life. The things that make us happy is what we want to spend our time really doing. Something out there you really enjoy doing and it brings you a lot of passion. If you can, try to do it for a living. Because when we're really passionate about stuff and we really love doing something, that's when we really can fine tune something into something very special and unique. And that's when we prosper the most. When we step into the unknown and, and start creating a new identity for ourselves, a new happiness, a new uh, beginning, that's when really the real power begins to pretty much manifest mindfulness and to create a new identity uh, for your uh, self to be able to not be stuck in the past is really important we all have the same names with the same you know life form but to be able to let's say like my old self angry resentful derek i let that derek go i'm still the same me derek but to reprogram uh, our minds and to start living differently, to all, you know, with, uh, living with love, open heart and kindness, and with goals in our life. It's very important that we leave the old self in the past, along with our past experiences and emotions, to be able to build upon that new identity, the new characteristics of that identity, being love, caring, compassionate, driven, uh, and non-confrontational. When we, when we develop a new identity and we start building on it and we start reprogramming our thoughts, our behaviors, and our emotions, that is very powerful. Conscious awareness, all the greats, all the 
most of all the successful, the, the biggest names you know, including Martin Luther King, all had a vision first. All of these great men and women, all these people and great and great women all have a vision. They all had a vision and they made it happen. We all need a vision first before we accomplish our goals in life and before we find the ultimate success that we want in life. We need to learn to get out of our own heads. That's the first tool. We need to learn to get out of our own heads and to stop thinking about the past, stop worrying about uh, drama, stop worrying about what other people think and start thinking about your passions and what makes you happy in life. And I can tell you this, this manifesting mindfulness stuff is very powerful and I don't think there's anything out there that beats it. Um, that's why it's becoming so much more popular on the internet and worldwide. It's a way for people to find happiness and some love in their life and to change your old angry or depressed self into a new identity by programming it the way you want it, right? By Programming your thoughts to what you want to think. See, we're all told a big deception line in life. It we're weaker than we actually are. Okay? That's why so much part of our life we get programmed by watching uh, television and stuff and being told we're never good enough when we really are good enough. It's about having people living in lack, working for the man, working nine to five every day, and never being able to have their own dreams and stuff because of feeling that way, never feeling good enough because of the way we're brought up in our education. But the truth is we all have beautiful talents. And when we're able to start becoming more consciously aware of what we're thinking, what we're doing, what we're doing in our lives, what makes us happy, what drives air into our lungs, what lifts us up, that when we start going for our desires and the things we love in life, that's when the real love for life comes. And that's when really the real magic happens. And you get, you'll get your desire back for life if you have lost it. You want to get a new life, a new fresh outlook at life, new identity? Get out of your head and stop thinking about negative things and start practicing manifesting mindfulness meditation, and it will change your life. I promise you that. All you have to do is start refocusing the way you think. Start getting up in the morning. Write down what you want to do, your goals, your aspirations in life, what you're grateful for. Put a smile on your face when you don't feel like it. Open that door up to someone when you ordinarily wouldn't. Say please, say thank you. Open your heart, open your mind, and the universe will react to you accordingly. And you will find your success and your love for life. Please subscribe. Have a great night. Bye.